designed a multi-touch interface and a joystick interface. We compared the two to see which one increased situational awareness and decreased mental workload to increase the performance of the user. We start off in the beginning with a robot that hadn't been programmed, uh, a screen that was capable of multi-touch, and somehow we got to a robotic system that was working, robust, and we learned a little bit about how humans react with these systems and how we can make these systems more effective in the future for things like looking for lost items or maybe even looking for lost people. We compared two groups, um, a multi-touch group and a joystick group. We put uh, people um, in a field to do a to search for 10 items so they could find, they, they had 30 minutes to find 10 items. What we wanted to do was have um, half the people run in, run in a field searching for items and see if they hit things or how many items they found and then um, compare those two to see which one was um, more effective and natural for people to run the robot. We noticed that people were more confident with the joystick. It's probably because they have seen the joystick before this controller, um, the multi-touch they have never seen. It sounds uh, fairly easy, but there's actually a good deal of programming involved and a lot of lateral thinking to get from the technology to testing it to finding if it was significant. When we really knew what we wanted to put together, that's when really things got interesting. My job in this project was to program the interface. I use Java, mostly Java. Other portions of the project was done in C Sharp. I really enjoyed having like a user study where we, we were kind of like in control and had people come in and told them like how to run our study and stuff. That, I've never done anything like that, so that was um, a lot of fun. The students here at the REU were top notch. They were hard workers, they learned a lot, they acted as a team. I really like my experience here at REU. The faculty is really helpful. Uh, they answer all your questions. Even if you're not computer science or anything, like a lot of people can do this. It was pretty nice.